Hey there. In this video, we're going to look at uh, how to find the y-intercept of a quadratic function just from its equation algebraically. All right, so to find the y-intercept algebraically, we are going to substitute x equals 0 and then evaluate what y is. Because again, if you think about a graph, any function for that matter, uh, the y-intercept along there is where x is 0. So if we take this thing now and substitute 0 in for x and work it out, we will find what the y-intercept is. All right. Now the nice thing about this is 2 times 0 squared is 2 times 0, which is 0. And minus 5 times 0 is just 0. And then minus 7 on the end. So actually, this term turns to 0 this term turns to zero. In fact, any term with x in it is going to turn to zero and you're just going to be left with that constant term on the end. That constant term is the y-intercept. That's probably something you're just going to get to looking at and realizing that constant term on the end is the y-intercept. So you know that that function, whatever it looks like, would have a y-intercept of negative seven would cross there. The y-intercept is the constant term. All right. Sometimes you refer to that value as c, the c value, if it's in standard form. Now, if it's in another form, like vertex form, like this next one, it doesn't mean that this is the, the y-intercept. It has to be in standard form for that. We can still do the same thing here. We can still substitute in 0 for x and work out what this is in this case. And then evaluating all of that to find out what y is equal to. I'm not solving for anything here, I'm just evaluating it, so I'm just going to use order of operations and work this out. Minus 2 squared is 4, and if I keep going with that, negative 20 plus 3, negative 17. That's my y-intercept. Notice that number didn't come up anywhere in there. When it's in vertex form, you can't just read it out of there. When it was in standard form before, it was just that constant term. All right, that is finding the y-intercept algebraically from the equation. You so that's finding the y-intercept algebraically from the equation. All you do is substitute in x equals 0 and evaluate y.